In the DJI Go app, we're going to have a look at the image transmission settings. So we can get into this by clicking on the HD or the link quality or by the three uh, dots up in the top right hand corner. So clicking on the HD brings up our image transmission settings. So to start with, you'll see that it is set in auto, which means it's going to allocate its own channel by default. And what you can see there is a graph and really what this graph is, is it's a noise graph or an interference graph. So what you would look for is the one with the lowest interference or the lowest value. You can see here we're actually inside. So we've got uh, some Wi-Fi, some Bluetooth, all those sort of things around us. And we can see that there's quite a lot of interference in the unstable channels, the red ones. Next to those, you can see that there's some green channels which are stable and they've got the lower value for the interference. And finally, the blue one, which is the channel that has been selected for the link. So we can run auto where it's always analyzed by the aircraft and it'll be set down on the best available or we can set it up ourselves via custom. So we can actually choose which channel we wanted to use. So if we were going to do that, you would want to take some time to check uh, the lowest value and preferably the one with the low value next door as well. So I've got a nice low interference channel. And also within there, we could select the transmission quality. So the transmission quality, the higher that we have our uh, transmission quality, the less distance that, that is going to travel and the higher latency. So the biggest, the, the bigger type delay that you might have between what's actually occurring and what you're seeing on your video screen. So you can see here, as I bring that up all the way to 10 megabits per second, it's uh, gives us indication that's going to be reliable for 700 meters. And as I bring that all the way down to four megabits per second, then it's going to be good for three kilometers. So that's obviously entirely up to you on the uh, downlink quality that you want. Uh, but it is customizable through those image transmission settings. And that's the image transmission settings in the DJI Go app.